how did you how did your family handle deployments when your your husband or even your father-in-law and your son were gone for such long periods of times? How did you how did you guys pull together and, and get through it? Well, I'll give you one example. It's a good answer, but Johnny will tell you absolutely that faith was what brought him through. See, they beat him up every single day, but he had undying faith, and I hope I have it. I think I do. I think you do. I think it sounds like you do. Um, what do you hope that future generations of McCain's will think or feel um, about your family's uh, legacy of naval service? I think they'll think, well, those old so and so, I'm, I'm over 100 years old now. I'd like to give it a try. Would you? If you could go back, do you think you would join the Navy? Oh, in a split second. Why is that? I just told you that we all trust each other. I wanted to ask you how you were able to get through all those years uh, with your son in captivity and what advice you might give to families of other sailors who might be going through the same thing. Well, I decided to be an example to myself. If you say you believe these things, then when it comes time, do it. Don't fall apart because things happen that are tragic in your life or whatever. And I just decided that I was going to be an example and I was not going to keep my mouth shut about what I thought about what was going on. I don't know anything about the Vietnam War, whether it was good or right or wrong. But I know I'm for my country and I'm proud of being a citizen and I know this is one of the land of opportunity. Why do you think that generations of McCain men continue the tradition? I think now we're kind of proud of that heritage. I certainly am, who was an outsider. But to have two ships named after, like my son and my father, and I was so thrilled with that. Mm -hmm. And then I, I can't even forget, there's so many unusual things that happened to us out of the blue. See the, so that's why I'm so pleased and grateful.